Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid. A fair warning, if you haven't watched in the last, uh, I want to say, five minutes of the previous episodes, uh, of the previous episode, you should probably watch that first. Um, because otherwise, spoiler alert. Um, so we had a little bit of a situation, as in that here is a bite. Also, right hand damage means our melee is gonna suck for the moment. Um, I did, so for me, it's, it's two days after, um, recording that previous episode. It's, it's not gone live yet, so I haven't seen any comments yet, but I had some time to sleep over it, and I probably rewatched the, the clip of the bite ten times, and I still think that's, there was definitely some unusual zombie movement, as in the zombie was, on the ground and like I was going through it actually frame by frame and in the next frame it's so it had both arms and both um, legs on the ground and the next frame it started the bite animation um, or the attack animation. I'm not even sure if that zombie was the one who ultimately bit me or if then that attack just stun locked me in place for a second and allowed the second zombie to hit me. Either way, um, before I do anything else, I still think I want to finish this this raid on the on the supermarket. We have like 20 zombies coming after us over here. Um, again, melee is gonna suck because um, right hand is damaged. Although we're not in pain, so that's at least something. Um, and I was just looking here. Still have three full magazines for the Desert Eagle, so that's all fine. Also, something I don't think I ever showed that. So I didn't just, at some point, level up tailoring to 10, but I did actually also make some use out of it. Um, I can't can't right-click and show, so I did apply some, some leather patches to some of the um, clothing that we're wearing to give some, some additional protection. So, um, yeah, so on the forearm, we used to have 20% bite protection, but of course left forearm, while the bite happened, there's now a hole, so no more protection there. <clears throat> well, anyway. Um, yeah, so the time from infection to actual zombification is should be the default settings, um, unless I change that in the sandbox settings, so two to three days. We do have prone to illness, fairly certain, because that's just usually a free trade, so it speeds that up by 25%, so probably around two days until ultimate character death. So I want to basically finish this run as if, you know, as if we're not about to die, bring it back to base, and then at that point, make a decision on how to continue. Well, so there, there are really two options here, right? Uh, option one is the run is over, character death is imminent, and we do something else. Um, and in case of option one, I would personally for myself still go in there, cure the bite and just play play without recording because we're really you know like that base and like to continue building that and more or option two this i do that and um we just continue this run with the the knowledge of hey we cheated death um but i just want to be transparent about this whole thing with you guys because i'm not doing it just for me i'm also doing it for you and if you wouldn't enjoy it anymore if i did that then there's no point continuing it's like, you know, I'm not saying that was a bug. Maybe I just need to be more careful with, with runners that are dropping on the ground. Because they also got up, even though I was technically standing on them, which normal zombies can't do um, if they're on the ground and you're standing on them. So it's kind of a different zombie on the ground behavior. Anyway, um, let's focus on the task at hand. Now, I don't want to shoot here because of the sound. So let's get back a little bit more into the parking lot. Oh, there's a fair number of zombies there. Oh, 
And so I was really hoping that that gun would have a little bit more oomph. You know, maybe it's not as bad as I thought it is with the melee weapon. Oh no, that is terrible. Okay. As long as we don't have any more additional runners, we should be able to do... Oh no, we do have... we do have... Pain. Take those painkillers. didn't open the box. Do I not have open boxes while moving? Mod active? Oh, come on. That is fairly annoying. Fairly certain we did that before. D did open some boxes while moving. Not sure why it's not working with the magnum rounds. Uh, this might just be now a little bit long and drawn out here as I casually walk around. Alright, now it's starting to jam. I'm better off just using the revolver. But no, I'm not reloading at all because I'm out of ammo again. All right, let's unpack all of this. Oh, oh. It's a sprinter, a runner between those guys. Another runner. Who's gonna be getting up in a second? Not sure if that uh, revolver reloading is any faster than the magazine reloading. Also, I'm feeling it's not getting actually clearer here, but uh, fuller. The, the advantage 
of using the revolver is it can't jam. Oh boy, maybe I should just, just uh, get in the car and drive back home and not finish this raid. It's, it's really terrible, like, how little stopping power the weapon has. I mean, it feels like lots of the shots are constantly attracting more guys from around the neighborhood. Which is weird, because I thought there was nothing else nearby. Or maybe, maybe we're just losing a few every now and then, every round. We'll also just try to flatten some of those guys with the car. And the runner's not dead. She's just down. I don't see her. Yeah, I'm not sure the... Ah, oh, there she is. Not sure the 42 shots here are gonna be enough to kill the zombies, considering it's taking, like, three shots for a kill. Pain shouldn't affect shooting damage. Maybe it's affecting the accuracy. Up on the painkillers like the candy here.
Like, those should be kills, right? With a 44 caliber. From that distance. Hmm. I'm having some concerns here right now. But there still has four shots in that magazine and doesn't have a magazine. All right, that is not going to be super helpful. I can open those while I'm walking. shots. Hmm. I do have, I think, like what, six more bullets or something? Four. Is there anything else on that? On that survivor zombie? 15. Whoop. I, I don't want to give up, but I also don't really see... Considering we're getting tired now, drowsy. And I don't have I don't have any more energy drinks. I stopped packing vitamins since I switched the to energy drinks. Did I pack the protein powder? Yes. Alright, so we're gonna need... One of those water bottles unpacked. I 
need to fill the water from the canteen into the water bottle. Tired. The only problem now is melee is the only option. Go oh, through a full pack of painkillers fairly quickly. Oh, that's uh, Did I just pick up another big group there? Yeah, this is going to be uh, a whole thing here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now it's becoming a little bit of a, of a bigger thing. I, I'm not willing to give up, that's my problem here. I, I can, but I also don't want to die in this parking lot. Because the clock is ticking and being around the corpses and around getting corpse sickness on top of, you know, zombie sickness is probably not helping the whole thing. And now there's car things. You know, okay, I'm calling it. I'm calling it, we're heading home. Well, I was really hoping now that it would be uh, that the remaining 44 ammo would help clearing that parking lot and then I could sleep there, do the looting and then head home. But turns out um, not quite enough. Alright, so I think I will head down here. So I don't have to drive in the dark through all the zombies that are coming. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be driving home. Um, and as I said, then it's kinda up to what what you folks how you folks think this should continue or not continue rather. So this might be the final the final few moments of this series. Either way, um, just because I'm, I'm in the mood to play more PC, but also I want to wait for the comments, so I'm gonna do a transitional series. I, I'm gonna record something else that's gonna be then going live tomorrow. And once I've kept caught up with your comments, with your suggestions, with your thoughts on this situation, um, we can continue this or not continue this. You know, these are these are the two options. Anyway, um, so this might be um, Linda's last night here, but for now we're gonna call it here. Thanks for watching. One last, potentially last look at the stats and at the info. We have two no, zero kills per file. Well, thanks for watching. Hey, our, our sickness was going down. I'll see you next time.